Here's just an example of the automatic movement of the government's budget. This is the United States. This is what happened when the crisis hit. Tax revenues have been growing extremely fast before the crisis. They were growing at 20% quarter over quarter. Uh, the United States tax system actually is biased toward collecting too much revenue, in my view. Okay. Tax revenue is going too fast. That put downward pressure on the economy until we collapsed. And then tax revenue growth collapses to zero and then goes way below zero. It's collapsing at an annual pace of almost 30%. Okay, so tax revenue really just falls through the floor. The government isn't collecting much in taxes because the economy collapsed. So tax receipts go way down until we start to recover, then they start growing. The government consumption type expenditures actually go down as the government tries to uh, avoid the deficit expanding because our government thinks it can run out of money. Obama all the time said, we're running out of money, we can't afford anything. But fortunately, our transfer payments are not discretionary. So unemployment compensation goes up, food stamps go up, welfare goes up. So we have the non-discretionary part of spending goes up, tax revenue goes down, the deficit increases to a trillion dollars. 10% of GDP, that helps to stabilize the economy. So this is exactly what Minsky's talking about.